people don't notice until you see it. It's like, I'm drinking that? That doesn't look right. When it came to the water of my home, my shower heads were caking up with white. My humidifying system continuously blocks up. So I keep asking questions. Why is this happening? Something's wrong here. Really is about TDS, a very high number. This is why I have a relationship with Kinetico. Two pros came in to talk to me about the water in my house. I'm really excited because not only do I get to shower again, I mean, I get to have clean water. I don't have to worry about the hardness in the water like in my humidifier, not to mention the hot water heater that I've already replaced because of scale, hardness, ridiculousness. Dan, this is totally neat and professional. I can tell that you love what you do. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about this place. Okay, so what we've got here is your inlet water coming in initially goes through a valve we'll talk about later. From there, we come into the Kinetico S250 water softener. So this is our twin tank, non-electric, high efficiency system. So this is the first filter system here? Correct. So okay. the way the softener works, as the water comes in from your pressure system, the water comes down and the first thing it hits is a 20 micron pre-filter. So the idea is, we're going to capture any sediment, silt, sand, or anything in the water, 20 microns or larger, protecting the inner working components of the valve and protecting the media and everything inside. Key feature of the Kinetico is it is a twin tank system, meaning one tank is always in service while the other is in standby. So when one tank is exhausted and you are out of your softened water, instead of waiting till two in the morning like some other manufacturers, this system will regenerate immediately. So you almost 24 all. hours a day, seven day a week, softened water. My skin, I'm telling you, the hard water that I've had in my house, my skin is so rough. I'm looking forward to this. From there, we head out and into the outlet of the distribution system, future tie-in, and then what we've done here is provided sample points and also a feed to this little guy. And this is the K5 drinking water system. So this is gonna purify all of your drinking water. This one's new. This is new. This is a new design for Kinetico coming out here soon. So you actually, uh, you've had the pleasure of getting the first one. We have that fresh stream water coming in and it will be filtered, it will be cleaned and it will be softened by all of the products that Kinetico has. They are going to then test all that water and give me that peace of mind that the TDS levels are down, that it's well controlled, the iron levels are down. How clean is the water that we consume? How clean is the water that our children drink? I'm gonna let you know. Now, what I like about this is I can see that little valve at the top. Correct. And as I continue to drink RO water, which I love to drink reverse osmosis water, it's clean, that will continue to go down. Right, so there they are there. So basically the way this unit works, water comes in through a pre-filter, which removes any sediment, and if you're in the city, anything like chlorine. And then from there, the unit splits the water into the membrane. The membrane is kind of the heart of the unit, and the way it works is water comes into the membrane and is forced through all of the contaminants and the minerals and metals and all the stuff we want to get rid of is trapped on the membrane layer and forced down into your drain. The water that we're looking for, the water that you're wanting to consume and use, is then gonna go through a couple of different filters. And in here we have a VOC cartridge for filtration of any byproducts. And then we have our Pure Fecta, which is our BioPure filter for uh, removing any viruses or anything like that from water. As the water then goes down into the holding tank, as you require it or demand it from the tap at the sink, the water will come out and go through a post polishing cartridge. And that cartridge is the one that is metered. So this will keep track of all of the water that you're using. And once you reach 500 gallons, which is about 1,895 liters, this system will go all the way down and plug off that filter. And shut and it off. There is no way that you it's can- It's telling overuse. you. It's telling you. It's time to replace your it's, filters. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. See, that's, it's a no-brainer. I like that. Yeah. That's just something that a Kinetico product has that a lot of products don't have. Uh, one of the biggest problems with ROs is a lot of people have them installed in their home and they haven't changed the filters in quite some time. So now you've got water going through some really old, dirty filters that probably need to be changed, sometimes maybe even creating worse of a product for the end user. We tend not to change things until we absolutely have to. Yeah. This now forces you, which I like. Key yeah. benefit of the K5 is this wow tank, which is a water over water. So we utilize the water pressure in your home to force the drinking water through the filters and ultimately to your tap. So we are able to provide you a constant pressure and a constant flow of that drinking water as well. This is way better. I'm already Definitely. Seeing. 
hundred percent. Okay, so another key feature of the Kinetico softening family is an integrated bypass and pre-filtration kit. So included obviously is the pre-filter 20 micron that catches any sediment silt or sand, but we have a multi-position bypass that allows us to operate the system in service. As you see with green, we are able to go to red, which will stop the water going out and allow us to operate the system in a service position or for diagnostics. And then we have a full bypass position. So if for any reason, the system is malfunctioning, a small drip or leak, or any concerns about it running, you simply put the system in bypass and this will allow the water to go around. So yeah, just bypass. So it's, it's the not full no bypass longer system. softening the water correct, or correct. using this. Correct, correct. Brilliant. I use that because in my house, the way that my house is plumbed is if I want to water my lawn, I turn mine to bypass so that I'm not using soft water when I'm using it on the exterior of my home. Smart. Thank you. So one of the other things we did for you here, that is one option using the bypass for your outside. But what we did here is recognizing that you have taps that you don't want to be put through the water softener. We've installed an auxiliary half inch line that can be hooked to your outside taps that we're gonna upgrade here. So this is before the system. Correct. So my outside hose now doesn't have to be salted. Do we call it raw water. And why not? It's coming from the ground, going back to the ground. It kind of makes sense to me. Exactly. Yeah. Brilliant. So one of the other systems that we've installed for you here is Kinetico's leak detection system. So I'm excited about this. This is a fantastic product. It's insurance to your insurance in your home. Basically, the way this system works is you have a ball valve that gets installed on the line coming in before any other connections come off. This can be installed at your water meter, back at your pressure tank, or what we've done is installed it in here for proximity because of where your tank's located. Right. It's a little less convenient. This communicates with a central hub and that communicates with these little guys. So what they are is a puck with a sensor on the back. And if any point water gets on the floor, the two sensors sense that water, send a signal back to the main control head, which will turn a valve closed, shutting off the system completely, making sure that whatever leak has occurred will not damage the home. So if I took this right now and ran it under the tap, right. it would <laughs> actually shut it off. It would shut it off. I really like that. No so wires, no, no wires. No wires, it is wireless, but it also uses a dedicated RF frequency if wireless or hydro or anything goes out. The nice feature is these all run on battery as well. And with the app. The app, so Kinetico's app will allow you to get notifications if the system does go into a closed position. It will also tell you the temperature of the location of that puck and it will also let you know if the batteries need to be changed or anything like so that. So we're gonna put a few of these around the house. Yeah, here. and you can name them all too. So for example, you could call it downstairs washroom, upstairs washroom, washing machine, dishwasher, wherever you're placing them around your home, you can name them accordingly so that on the app, you know exactly where the problem is. it sends me a notification. Is. Yeah, now the nice thing about this, which Dan said, is that because it works off of radio frequency, which is all around us, if there ever was an interruption of Wi-Fi or internet service at your home, this system's still going to protect you and still function. The only thing that would be delayed is it notifying you through your phone of what has transpired at your residence. So it's doing its job. It's doing its job. I get a leak, it's shutting the It shuts things down. down within five seconds. That's incredible. Also on the app, there is a manual override. So if you've gone away and you are in practice of going when you go away for a certain amount of time of shutting your water off in your home, if you've forgotten you're on the plane, you're about to board, you I can, can hit your app, hit close, and this will shut. The so if my down. son decides to come to my house and I see him on my security camera and he goes to take a shower, <laughs> I can turn off the water. You bet. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Okay, so if you remember, my last salt wasn't working. I kept saying, I'm not adding salt. Why is that happening? So salt, always keep this about half full. We say half full, you can fill it up if you want, but we say half full just for serviceability reasons. If you have to move the tank, you're not moving the tank with however many hundreds of pounds of salt in it, so. Okay, and how often do I need to add salt? So salt usage on a Kinetico is much lower than any of our competition. So the nice part about it is you're gonna use a significantly less amount of salt and water, and obviously no electricity. So you're gonna use less salt than any of your neighbors. It's a visual thing, you can simply just take a peek. Uh, the salt's used as a regenerant, so the salt's purpose is to help clean the resin after it's been in use for so many gallons and has removed so much hardness. The salt is introduced, allowing the resin to release the hardness back down the drain, and then leaving the resin bed ready for service as soon as the other tank has exhausted itself. It's using 2.7 pounds of salt per regeneration. 
right. which is far less than a lot of uh, units out there. A standard electric unit at a 30,000 grain softener uses seven approximately to ten seven to 10 pounds, yeah. whereas this is going to use two. Clean. Okay, this is one thing I liked about Kinetico, is not only could I see everything online, the salesman that comes in to show you all the stuff, they're giving you the information. What did you just say? The difference between Kinetico and other companies? So a standard single tank electronic softener, when it kicks in to do its regeneration in the middle of the night, say at two in the morning, you're gonna use on average, you know, 70, 80 gallons of water to do that regeneration and anywhere between seven and 10 pounds of salt per cycle. Whereas okay. this system, we're using about 2.7 pounds of salt and about 30 some odd gallons How? of water. So we regenerate our units counter currently. So we process water in one direction and clean in an opposite direction. If you were to think of an analogy, which I've heard used many times of uh, having a, uh, some coffee grounds on a carpet. If you had a bunch of coffee grounds spread out all along the carpet and you had a large amount over here and only a little bit over there if you were going to clean up those coffee grounds you wouldn't start over here at the big pile and sweep them to the little pile because that would take more centrifugal force and a lot more energy to clean right you would start where there's a little bit and move it that way by our units cleaning themselves in reverse that's essentially what we're doing so we don't have to overwhelm the media with salt from the resin tank in order to get a proper clean. That's efficient. Because what I heard was seven and a half pounds to two pounds. It is efficient. That's what I heard. We are the and most 30 efficient. 30 gallons of water to 80 gallons of water. Correct. We hold uh, a designation of the world's most efficient softener as well, so. I, I just can't wait to have a shower, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> I want the softness. Let me tell you, have a gla another glass of water. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I love the water. There's the, when, I, when it comes to the reverse osmosis, I love that water. Uh, I, I bought the clear glass kettle, mm -hmm. so I drink you know instant coffee. It was always white. It was always white. <laughs> reverse osmosis, it's clean, it's clear, and it tells me what I'm putting inside my body which people don't notice. 100%. Until you see it. It's like, I'm drinking that? That doesn't look right. Yeah. Well, I mean, for people like Dan and I, uh, when we come out and do a test on your water, oftentimes some of the things that we're helping people remove from their water is things that they can't see, taste, or smell. But we're able to show them that they're in there. And the water test you guys did. So now my TDS levels are way down. We were down to 28 on... 28 grains of hardness. So this will bring it down to zero grains of hardness. Zero. I'm going to have real soft water. I believe the TDS on your well was coming out at 360. Yeah, yeah about 370 on final reading. Yep. This should bring it down below 10. Okay. 10. Under 10. Under 10. 10 part per million of TDS. So I'm going to be soft water. I'm going to be uh, fresh water <laughs> and I can start running my humidifier and other things in the house. And everything in your house is going to last longer. All of your faucets, all of your fixtures, the water heater, everything that's water you're using in your home is going to reap the benefits and the rewards of this water. As well as your plumbing. As well as the plumbing distribution system. Love Kinetico. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. This is Very awesome. Much appreciate Pleasure. It. Thank you. Professionals. Mike. I love professionals. We're going to make it right together. I'm telling you right now. People need to know about water. We're make help. water right. It's funny, we have Elton John upstairs. <laughs> and it doesn't realize we can hear. We can hear you! <laughs> is, is she in the shower? <laughs> <laughs> Turned it off. <laughs>